WFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN headline news update. Welcome, folks. We had the uh, Dow Industrials finished up 50, Nasdaq up 91, S&P's up 20. That was uh, a gain of 1.1 percent in the Nasdaq Composite, seven tenths in the S&P 500, and one tenth in the Dow Industrials. Uh, S&P's uh, futures right now they are at 3,026, folks. Your ABC structure with the price projection is 3,055. Uh, next week, as we come into the marketplace, uh, you have July 30th and 31st, the Fed meeting. We expecting a quarter point cut, 25 basis points. You get window dressing. What I expect, we have lots of earnings coming out. What I expect we're going to see is that that S&P is going to run up into this 3,055. And the way it, it actually has crawled there so slowly, you more than likely you'll get more than a one-to-one -one ABC structure up. What that specifically means is that you can get up a lot higher, you know, another 25, 50 points, get to that 3,100 inside that uh, S&P futures. Gold, dollar, uh, gold, gold uh, trading 14.16 an ounce. Gold still consolidating for higher price, as is silver. Silver's trading $16.37. Light sweet crude, different animal, man. Light sweet crude, $56.15. That is having a hard time each and every time, except the $60 level gets slammed, comes down the other side. I expect we're going to see light sweet crude down at about the $50 level. Notes and bonds finished out the week, rejecting lower price. Had lighter volume, bottom line, they continue to want higher price, lower yield. We had the 10-year finish out the week at 127.09, 30-year at 154.15. Uh, that The 10-year right now is trading at 2.07. Looks to me like we're going to go down to the 1.71 number. A bottom line, we get down to that, you're going to be uh, seeing 30-year mortgages at 3.25. King dollar, king dollar up 203 ticks. Now, king dollar did. King Dollar got over and closed over its high of May, which is 97.715. Now, you get anemic volume out here inside King Dollar. So it's really going to be intriguing watching this shake out. But technically, you get over the high, you closed over the high. Fundamentally, what it come out today is that the White House has been having meetings about uh, basically pushing King Dollar around, getting into currency intervention. Larry Peck Cudlow is out here today uh, denying that that is going to happen. He said that uh, the administration has decided at this point, no intervention. Uh, currency traders are going to be on edge for quite a while here, folks. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. We look forward to speaking to right back here Monday morning, 9 o'clock. Go get them, folks.